one sure way to ensure that you're going to experience remarkable progress before the end of the year is to be led by the Holy Spirit. Because the Spirit of God knows your tomorrow more than you can remember your yesterday. He knows what is going to work and what's not going to work. This is Akitola Samuel and you are welcome to today's masterclass of the 90 days of breakthrough. You see, we are still talking along these lines of ending the year better than you started it because it's very important. Because in Ecclesiastes, the Bible says better is the end of a thing than the beginning thereof. All right? It says that though your beginning were small, yet latter and should greatly increase. Not will greatly increase, but it should greatly increase. It simply means that your latter end, the latter part of the year, should be better provided you pay attention to certain things. All right? And what is it that you need to pay attention to that was that you know that is a joker is a sure guarantee that the year is going to end better than you started it it's the leadership of the holy spirit if you haven't prioritized the leadership of the holy spirit from january up until now guess what it's never too late to be right it's never too late to be right it's never too late to be right there is still much god has in store for you and i and you see the thing is this how you will know what God has in store for you is through his word and by the leadership of the of his spirit. Number two, how to take advantage of all that he has in store for you is to be led by his spirit. You see, in the believer's life, you cannot separate the leadership of the spirit. You see, divine guidance is the believer's leverage. Divine guidance, the leadership of the Holy Spirit is one of the greatest advantage, if not the greatest advantage of the believer. He says, my sheep hear my voice. It says, and follow me. You must be guided at all times by God's Spirit. In Isaiah 30 and verse 21, he says, Your ears will hear a word behind you saying, This is the way. Walk in it. When you turn to the left and when you turn to the right. This is the way. Not this is one of the ways. There is a way you must travel. There are things that you must do. There are steps you need to take before the end of this year. And guess what? Those steps, they are not things the consultant can reveal to you. In fact, sometimes they are not even things a mentor can tell you. There are things that only God knows. And that's why I said moments earlier that God knows your tomorrow more than you can remember your yesterdays. You see, the amazing thing is God knows that if you take this particular step, let's assume you have options. If you want to take, you know, step A, God knows that if you take step A, is going to lead you somewhere entirely different from where you are supposed to be. He knows that if you take step B, mm, there may be some pains, but eventually, all right, it's just like the good, the acceptable, and the perfect will of God, or the acceptable, the good, and the perfect will of God, all right? And there's another alternative, a step C, that that is the precise step you need to take. And you see, the thing about alternative steps and direction is they always look good. They always look good. But you see, it's not about what looks good. It's what is going to become good. Because many people start out good in life, but they end up badly. They end up poorly. That's why it's very important how you finish. That's how important how you end. Not just how you end the season, not just how you end the year, but how you end your life. It's very important. Weeks ago, I spoke about the fact that, you know, how you are remembered goes a long way. Goes a long way. How you end your life, how you end the season goes a long way. Many people start well, but they end not too well. I pray for you that you will end well. And you see, one of the guarantees is to ensure you are led by the Spirit of God. Ensure you are led by the Spirit of God. Because there is always a way, Proverbs 14 and verse 12 says, that there is always a way that seems right unto a man. He says, but the end is destruction. It will look right. It will look okay. But the hand is always destruction. The hand does not always turn out well. Everything that glitters, like it has been said, is not gold. Some things are glittering. It looks nice. But the hand is, is pain and regret and depression, anxiety. But that's not going to be you in Jesus' name. So there are things you need to do before the end of this year. I don't know what you are supposed to do. But God knows what you are supposed to do. That thing you have been praying for. That thing you have been releasing your faith for. That thing that is on your vision board. God knows what you need to do. He knows who you are meant to call. That job you are releasing your faith for. He knows where you are supposed to submit your CV. 
those quality of clients you are trusting God for, God knows the marketing strategy that needs to be in place. Are you going to allow him lead you? Are you going to allow him guide you? Are you going to allow him hold down your steps? One of the secrets of David, David was a king in scriptures, who the Bible tells us he never lost any battle. And the reason was because David always prioritized God's leadership. Even when it was obvious what he needed to do, David would always go back to God and say, God, should I do this? Should I do that? For instance, he came back home one day with his men and he realized that his wife had been kidnapped. His children had been kidnapped and that of every other person. Naturally, what the average person would do is to start looking for them, you know, and get ready for a battle. But not David. The Bible tells us that David went into the place of prayers and asked God, God, should I pursue? It sounded foolish, right? But he did that. That's why he never lost any battle. And God told him, pursue. He said, because you recover her. He will recover her. He went as God said and recovered her. Another time came in the life of David. He was, you know, in a city called Kila. And Saul, who had become his enemy this time around, haunting him, had that he was in the city of Kila. And the Bible says that Saul was coming to kill him in that city. But David had just delivered the city of Kila from their enemies. Naturally, everybody will think, one good turn deserves another. These guys are going to rescue me. They are not going to deliver me to Saul's hand. Guess what happened? When David went to the place of prayers, God told him, get out of this city now. Because these people are going to betray you. They are going to hand you over to Saul. Even though you just help them. In their own case, one <laughs> good one does not deserve another. These guys are going to betray you. And the Bible says, immediately, David got up and he escaped. Why? Because he asked God. Assumption is one of the greatest hindrance to the leadership of the Holy Spirit. I'm going to say that again. Assumption is one of the greatest hindrance to the leadership of the Holy Spirit. The moment you begin to assume you know what you are doing, God is going to step back because God does not intrude into our lives. He does not force his will on us. As long as you believe you know what you're doing, oh, why not? Shoot, knock yourself out. God is going to step back. He's going to keep watching. You see, but if you are humble enough, and I strongly believe that assumption is a byproduct of pride. When you believe what you know, you know what you're doing. And you don't even bother to confirm if what you're doing is actually correct. Please know that asking for, you know, divine perspective before we take a step is proof that we honor God. So before you take that step, have you asked God? And the inverse is also true. When you take steps without asking God, it is proof you don't honor Him. It is proof you don't value His perspective. It is proof His opinion does not matter to you. You see, in Isaiah chapter 30, and verse 1 to 3, God speaking said, Woe to the rebellious children, says the Lord, who take counsel but not of me, and who devise plans but not of my spirit, that they may have sin to sin. They walk to go down to Egypt and have not asked my advice, to strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh and to trust in the shadow of Egypt. Therefore, the strength of Pharaoh shall be your shame. And trust in the shadow of Egypt, God said, shall be your humiliation. Why? Because they didn't seek his counsel. They didn't ask for his advice. They devised their own plans without asking from God. Friends, always ask for divine directive. Always ask for God's perspective. Always ask for God's opinion. And I pray for you that you will not miss it in the name of Jesus. See you tonight in the place of prayers by 9 p.m. God bless you.